What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic and today we're looking at what might just be the best LED projector I've seen so far. So when I think of an LED projector, I usually think of a budget projector or a tiny Pico projector with mediocre image quality. Well, LG just totally changed my perspective. So this is the LG HU70 LA, a 4K LED projector with fantastic image quality in a small package. And what's crazy is that it retails for $1,800, which I believe is the first 4K projector we've seen from LG priced under $2,000. And what's nice is that it's on sale right now for $1,600, which I can tell you right right away is a good price for what you're getting. And I really like this minimalist design. It only has a few buttons on top, which include a power button, directional buttons, focus button, and a zoom dial. The back has an optical audio output, ethernet port, a coax connector for an antenna since it has a built-in TV tuner, headphone jack, three USB ports, including a USB type C port, and two HDMI ports, which both support 4K HDR. And as you can see, the projector is white, but there is a black version known as the HU70 LAB, which will be nice for people who prefer black projectors. So as I mentioned earlier, this is an LED projector. To be more specific, this is a four channel LED projector that works very similar to the more expensive HU85 LA laser projector that I reviewed recently. The benefit to this is great color accuracy, a vivid image, significantly less rainbow effect since there's no color wheel, and much faster startup since you don't have to wait for a bulb to warm up. An LED light source also means no frequent bulb replacement since it's rated for up to 30,000 hours of lamp life. So this is the third projector in LG's existing 4K projector lineup, and I think it's a nice addition. So we have the HU80KA laser projector that has a fun and versatile design. We have the HU85LA, which I named the best ultra short throw, and now we have the HU70LA. So it looks like LG has a 4K projector for pretty much every situation, and if you're interested in checking out those other two projectors, I will put links in the video description. So like most 4K projectors priced under $5,000, the HU70 LA uses pixel shifting to display a 4K image, and this one uses the 0.47 inch Texas Instruments DLP chip to accomplish this. In other words, it's a certified 4K projector, making it the first 4K LED projector that I've reviewed on the channel. Other notable features include built-in Wi-Fi, LG's WebOS, which I'll talk about in a second, Bluetooth audio output, a TV tuner, HDMI CEC, automatic keystone correction, and a pretty good throw ratio projecting a 100-inch screen from around 9 feet away. It also supports screens up to 140 inches, and to top it off, it has the Google Assistant built in. Now, unfortunately, there is no 3D support for you 3D guys out there, but considering it has so many other features, I can't really be mad about that. So one big thing that makes this projector stand out from the others is that it has LG's WebOS. This is easily the best OS I've seen on a projector and it works well enough that there's no need to go out and buy a streaming box like a Roku since you can directly download apps onto the projector. I was able to stream 4K movies from Plex, Netflix, and Hulu right over Wi-Fi without any issues. It also allows you to mirror your phone screen and even play videos directly from USB. I really wish all projectors had this interface because it really makes the projector feel more like a TV. Another nice benefit is the inclusion of LG's Magic Remote. So I profess my love for this remote with previous LG reviews, but it really is quite nice. Not only is it backlit with all the buttons you could ask for, but it has an air mouse that works well for certain apps. So I mentioned that this projector has the Google Assistant built in. Well, the remote has a microphone so you can talk to the Google Assistant right from the remote to launch apps, play movies, and do all sorts of cool stuff. And while we're talking about the remote, you remember earlier that I said there was a focus button instead of a focus dial. What this means is that you can actually use the remote to control the focus. Now this may not seem like a big deal, but what this allows you to do is stand close to the screen while you adjust the focus with the remote, allowing you to get the perfect focus since you're standing so close to the screen. All right, so let's jump into image quality. Now I'll tell you right away that I was immediately impressed by the image quality from this projector. Not only was it brighter than I expected since LED projectors are usually not that bright, but the color accuracy on this thing blew me away. I was able to fill my 135 inch screen from around 10 or 11 feet away, and with all the lights off, it was actually bright enough that I could recommend it for a large screen. The colors were nice and bright, and I really didn't have to make too many changes to the picture settings to get an image that I liked. Now, being an LED projector, it's not going to have the best black levels, and being rated at 1500 lumens is not going to look as good in a bright living room and direct sunlight, but overall, I'm still really impressed with the brightness and vivid colors from this thing. 
So my favorite color mode for a dark room is cinema mode since it maintains the most detail and has the best color accuracy even though it does dim the image down some. Of course vivid mode is the brightest but it actually looks pretty good compared to other projectors out there. The only real adjustments I made to the settings was turning off smooth motion and changing the color temperature to warm. Another thing that surprised me was the HDR performance. So I was expecting the image to be really dull with mediocre tone mapping. I can thankfully say that my assumptions were completely wrong. Not only does it do a great job at maintaining brightness with HDR content, but the colors were really natural and rival some of the best HDR projectors I've seen. Again, the only place for improvement would be black levels, but in my opinion, the color accuracy makes up for it. And of course I can't review this type of a projector without talking about gaming. So gaming on this projector was really nice. The color accuracy and HDR performance makes for a nice gaming experience even for people who are picky about detail. Now LG claims an input lag of around 43 milliseconds for 4K with instant game response mode on and the lag for 1080p was reported around 55 milliseconds by Projector Central. So this puts it at around my usual cutoff of about 50 milliseconds for casual gamers. So as long as you're not a hardcore for a competitive gamer, this projector is still a good option. So the HU70LA also has a pair of three watt internal speakers. Now I would have liked for them to be a little louder, but they sound okay for occasional viewing. What's nice is that it does support external Bluetooth devices. So even if you don't have a soundbar or home theater speakers, you could always pair it with an inexpensive Bluetooth soundbar or even some headphones for better sound. Overall, I think this projector is great considering all the features and performance. I love that LG was able to fit so much into a small package. Not only is it the best looking LED projector I've seen so far, but I don't feel bad recommending it to people since it's priced under $2,000. The only things that could be improved are the speakers, black levels, and lack of HLG support, but after watching a few movies on this, I can't hold any of that against it. This would be perfect for somebody who wants a projector they can pull out for an outdoor movie night, or even someone who wants a compact projector with great image quality and a nice interface. I gotta say that the HU70LA made me reconsider how I feel about LED projectors. All right guys, that's gonna pretty much do it for this video. If you found it helpful, as always, go ahead and make sure you mash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that bell notification and click all so you'll get notified when I post new videos. Post your questions and comments in the comment section. I'll respond to your questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.